Welcome to another mega exciting Facebook ads tutorial. Okay, so there's a few things to talk about today. Um, I think most important is that I have moved on to setting up an actual link click campaign. Uh, I was explaining to a friend just before I did this video that there's there's all these skills, like these individual little skills that you need to mishmash together. So if I can just rattle them off really quick, I mean, you need to <clears throat> you need to know how to do a an ad that gets engagement, so that you can build like retargeting lists. You need to do you need to have the skill of like building a page that's like very presentable and lovely, so that when people build build the page, they want to like interact with the page, like the page, click the links on the page, share the things on the page. You also need to learn the skill that is actually creating viral content, so it's just one particular post, like and that when pe one person sees it, they're like, hmm, I want to comment on this, or I want to like this, or I want to share this. Um, there's the, the skill of just driving traffic directly from the ad to the website, <laughs> right? And then there's the, the, the skill that's beyond that, it's like conversions and all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's also skills of like driving traffic to the website and then getting opt-ins and all this sort of stuff as it gets more complicated. Um, then there's the ad of like being able, the skill of being able to look at these um, these numbers and be, be able to make decisions and like interpret what they mean and all sorts of stuff like that. So there's all these different skills. And the beauty of the $5 method is that it just forces you to learn the skills. If, if you don't spend the $5 a day, <laughs> like you won't learn the skill because uh, um, then you're not doing it. It's like uh, if you don't do the $5 a day method, you're never going to learn Facebook ads because it's like uh, someone just telling you about how to work out at the gym. <laughs> like you can learn, you can sit there and learn how to work out at the gym, for <laughs> but unless you actually go to the gym and do the movements, <laughs> you're, you're never going to get anywhere. Uh, and if you don't spend the money, five dollars a day, that's the, the the entry price. You know, that's like your membership cost at the gym. Like. You have to pay that five dollars just to get into the gym to do the movements. Uh, so 150 dollars a month, you can learn Facebook, and it's not complicated because you just you just do it every day and just learn some tiny little thing, uh, and your your knowledge improves and your abilities improve. Okay, so the one that I've moved on to is doing store visits. So I'm, I'm going to show you what I did. Maybe you'd like to set this campaign up yourself. Uh, it's definitely probably one of the steps you want to go through. Uh, so what I did, what my intention is, is like I want to drive traffic from a from an ad straight to a store, and I don't like I don't actually want to make any sales. I'm not really concerned about that. I just want to see if like it, which particular ads might potentially get clicks or like like do carousel ads get clicks? Like do image posts get clicks? Do video posts get clicks? Who who knows? Like what sort of copy gets clicks? Like who knows We're at the beginning you just don't know anything so I was like oh whatever like I can do a few things at the at the same time I can um I can learn the split test option I can learn the carousel um so let me show you what I did so I created a campaign that remember like when you do a campaign you create the campaign based on like your intention like the what you're trying to do with it so it's store visits right uh, and I, I like to do it by writing the niche that I'm targeting and then a dash and then there's the, the intention just like that, like yoga engagement, boxing product store hits, that was older, but if I was going to do it now, I'd be like niche dash intention. So when you do a split test, it, uh, it automatically creates two ad sets uh, because a you need a separate budget. Um, you, you can't do just five euros and do two ads within that. Um, I believe that like a split test, if you do a split test, it's going to create two ad sets. Not 100% sure if that's true. And when I say do a split test, I only mean do a split test through the Facebook method. Like you can organize your own split test, no worries. Um, this is just doing it through them and it does take two separate um, ad sets and creates them automatically. So within each ad set here, I'm going to see one thing, right? So you want to maximize your ability to learn from each test you do. So as I said, I'm testing both my ability to just do a carousel. I'm testing my ability to do a split test. I'm testing my ability also, uh, not, not sorry, it's not always about testing ability, it's just testing to find stuff out. Like 
find out about your niche or buying habits or what gets clicks or anything like that. So in this one, I'm selling yoga pants because I was like, well, what's what are the main products? And in this one, I'm selling a yoga mat. So if you want to we'll take a look at, let's do the, the yoga mat. Uh, I believe you can click on um, like preview somehow. I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm going to click edit. And then I can probably click preview somehow. Come on, where's that? How do I get into the preview? What's this? Anyway, I mean, that's a good enough preview, isn't it? Can I zoom out a little? I don't know. I can't really get it any better than that, but that, that's pretty much what it looks like, right? All right, so this is what I ran, did. Um, click there. All right, so on each of them, I put like five pictures. I put similar copy on both, like nothing beats yoga on a brand spanking new mat. Um, nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all, right? Just, just not important. Like, don't get caught up trying to sit there for an hour to try to write copy. It just doesn't matter. Uh, and, you know, even this, like, the, you, you're supposed to write, like, the headline, which is that, and you're supposed to write the description, which is that. I mean, for each of these, I just, the Amazon, you know, title, which was like, you know, 15 words. I just grab, grab the first part of it and put it as a headline and the second part of it as the, uh, the description. So you just, just don't worry about it, right? You, uh, after you start to get some traction, you can optimize, but it doesn't, doesn't matter about optimizing right now. So that's the first one. And let's look at the second one. Yet. Um, ad sets. Uh, as you listen to this, you may find sometimes I just suddenly go yet. And that's because I've been learning for Russian for two years, and it's just like it just happens. Like I can't, I can't stop myself. I just sometimes I, I suddenly say that. Um, okay, so add preview. Come on. See, mobile feed looks like this. I, I guess I can't click it because I can't interact with it because I'm not on mobile. Is that the idea? But yeah, see, I just did the exact same thing. Nothing beats yoga in brand spanking new yoga pants. Uh, if we go to desktop news feed. I don't know. Why isn't it working? You never know, hey. <laughs> Maybe I didn't shoot turn it on, like the placement? I don't know. Um Don't know, hey. I mean, yeah, a lot of um. Let me think if I can do an analogy for you here. Oh yeah, it's it's not a good analogy. It's not 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 good topic. I, I was like, I know there's this analogy that I want to talk about, but I was like, nah, it's not 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 good content to talk about. Uh, let me go to here then. Yoga mat one. Let, let's check this one. No, no, I, I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back up here and then go edit at this level and see if the placement, because I think you choose the placement here and the add set level. All devices. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea what, then why. Now, let me show you something else I did here. I actually turned off all of these things. Like, there's all these different placements, right? Like, Messenger, Audience Network, like, Instagram. Like, who knows? Even, like, all these different places. And I was like, man, screw this. Like, just put it in the feed. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't want to put too many variables at once. Like, if there's so many different variables, you're like, oh god, like, what, what, what's going on here? Okay. So that, that's good, right? So try setting up a carousel ad, do a split test like that. Uh, that's a worthwhile one to do. Haven't got any data on that one yet. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that I ran, I, I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video, I ran this like yoga engagement one, which is just to, uh, it was just a video basically. I th think I mentioned it, but I don't know if I mentioned the results. Uh, just, just a refresher for you. It's like this video here. We'll just go edit. So it's like this, right? I was like, ah, oh, blah, blah, Rodney, blah, blah, blah. If the, 
add some value and then have the video, right? Oh, I actually did get some sh or is that, I don't know, how do I, no, I don't know. I don't know how to actually, um, I don't know if this Gab Samuel and three others, I don't know if that's actually, you know, I don't know if that's the actual ad. Let me just add this, add these columns, right? But the point I'm trying to make is that, um, hold on, is that like I didn't get any likes on this, like zero page likes, right? It optimized it for an engagement and it's like, oh, you got so many engagements. Like, wow, 286 engagements, man. Like, whoa, really? And it's like, but look, 276 of these engagements are three second video views. Like, whew. is that a good thing? I don't know, maybe. Like I'm getting this like audience that I can retarget. Hold on, I need to answer the door. So my friend won't let his own girlfriend into the apartment, so I have to get up and answer it. Okay, so, all right. So th the point is there's something suspect about optimizing for engagement. It's kind of like, hmm, because, you know, it's like optimizing for this thing that isn't necessarily useful. Like you can't, I don't know if you can actually choose what you optimize for. Let me just uh, see if I can add this. I want to add shares and comments. I want to, comments, post comments, right? Share, post shares, apply. Hmm, that's weird. So I actually did get some shares. So that's kind of cool. Right, that that is uh, probably kind of cool. Like that's that's good to know. I mean, I created a post that got literally got shares, no, no comments. So I don't know if that's good, but you know, any little bit of data you can get is good. Like after you start to do a few posts that get shares, you can start to look over and look at how many shares you got for how many dollars, and think like, hmm, I wonder, like what. What should I do here? Like, like there's something here. Like, something I'm doing is generating shares. Like, what, what is the, the 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 secret sauce here? What, what, are, how do I capture the the thing that's really working? Okay, so that's cool. Now I wanted to show you some new stuff. <clears throat> First, I want to show you. I haven't actually um utilized what I'm about to show you, so maybe I'll just uh, take a look now. Can you just, what are you after? Blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, just sell my soul to the globalists, no worries. Okay, so I saved up for, I, I signed up for the, saved up. Um, it was like ad buyers. There's these groups on Facebook. Like, man, sh just show me the pages that I have already liked. Posts from, I mean, pages, come on. How do you just, how do you find the pages that you like, that you, no, 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 it's a group, it's a group, it's a group. Okay. My groups? I don't, I don't know how to find the groups that I'm a part of. Like, how do you do that? Uh, let's find out, right? You know, Facebook is so complicated. Groups? Is these like groups that I've created or groups that I'm a part of? Oh, I know. I get them at my notifications and see which ones. See, look, look, look. I've got these like things here. You have any friends? You add is approved. See all. Let's have a look. Okay, so here, I'm in this one. So I open that one. Um, I was approved for that one. But there are a bunch of like uh, ad buyer groups. I mean, look, I, I'll, this is definitely the truth that like everyone in these groups almost is like a noob like me. So it's just a bunch of noobs hanging around together complaining about how they don't know what's going on. But let's take a look, right? Look, bro. Gary V, man. Credibility. 
I'm not here to talk about Snapchat, but you should get Snapchat. All right. Okay. So let's take a look, right? What, what's going on here? Where's the content? Closed group, yeah, about discussion, right? Okay. So there's probably information in here. So, I mean, let me zoom in. I can barely read this. That's more like it, baby. New, right? Let's have a look here. See, it's like a lot of trash, but my point is here. My point is here. If you type, you know, FB ad buyers or something like that, there's all these groups that you can join. So just, just join them, apply to join, get in. It's my idiot friend there. Okay, so get in there. But I think what's even better than that is this. Um, if you go to Blackout World, it's not all Blackout stuff. Go to Forums, Social. Social. Social networking sites. Facebook. We're going to find people talking about it here. Um... So there'll be good stuff here. Uh, I found one thing that was kind of interesting. So if I can just refind it. Yeah, this one, right? So the, the, the point is, like on this forum and others, there'll be f posts like this. So you just read through this, click three, scroll or down, just like look for good posts, four, look for good posts, just like click, click so far, it doesn't matter if you go back months and months and months, you're going to find good stuff, I'm sure. Um, where was this one, right? See, this is, this guy's like a VIP, and he's been around since 2012, 2000 posts, many likes received, so this guy's like a, uh, you know, VIP kind of guy of the, um, of the of the website and you know they they post strategies so this particular strategy says that talks about like doing little niche sites and stuff and i mean you can you're more than welcome to just look it up and read it um but the point is there's all the, include into your strategy of learning facebook ads just like looking up these forums like blackout world blackout forum all sorts of other things i don't know about warrior forums bunch of noobs big time like like worse than w worse than me like serious noobs at Warrior Forum. Um, but anyway, I'll tell you another secret. There's a forum called Stack That Money. I'm gonna join this soon. This one's a like legit affiliate forum. And there's other ones like this as well. Okay, yep. Um, suppress my free speech, please. Um, and you can go join now. See, this is like legit shit. <laughs> Right. Um, right. And I'll just demonstrate to you. I think it's a hundred dollars. Anyway, it, yeah, yeah, right. Ninety-nine dollars a month. So I'm gonna pop in there. Um, maybe just for a month. Maybe, maybe more if it's actually super, super useful. But uh, that's that's like a forum where there's gonna be like many, many of the posts are gonna be like the one I just talked about. Okay, so that's uh pretty good. Um, I also recommend you at least get a trial of something like this. I got this power ad spy thing. So you can spy on people, all right? So this is going to be quite useful. What I'll teach you now, like, um, a lot of the people, um, you know, if you want to make a profit, like what, what I'm doing at the moment, like linking to Amazon, like a, a site that sells Amazon stuff, it's probably pretty hard to make a profit because the commissions are so low. But when you do drop shipping, I'd say you can make a much bigger profit um, per purchase. So that's probably where the game is played, really. Um, so if you want to look at like dropshipping ads, 
um, you can basically go keywords and add free shipping because like lots of drop sh shipping says uh, free shipping in the ad and search that uh, you can search things like running longest or just because if it's been running for a long time that means you know they're, they're putting money into it for a long time so it's profitable one of the best uh, signs that something's working is that people keep doing it although not always um, I've definitely done things that aren't profitable for much longer than I should uh, United States and you can choose hey I want want to have an image and then just go search and then these ones come up you can take a look at show original take a look at the post itself see these people are doing a carousel Oh, now I get why, yeah, at the, at the end of the carousel, you can put something like this, and I hadn't really understood why that would be a good thing to have, but now, now I do, it's like, you know, you, you get to the end, as a customer, you get to the end, you've looked at them, you've built desire, and then, you know, suddenly, like, here, you're looking at one, and then suddenly, you click for the next one, and it's like, phew, shop, it's like, call to action, it's like, there's nothing left to click. But you've been clicking next, 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 and now it's time to, to do something, and it's like, click. So maybe you're like, click. It just feels right. Yeah, and I believe this this thing here, the thing at the end of the carousel, can, t can take people to a different link than this stuff here, right? Like, all these ones here are taking you to, like, let me, let me click this, and let me click this. Whoa, it's like different. Uh, I don't know how you do that. I thought um, I thought you could only have one link for the entire carousel, but obviously I'm wrong about that. So there's a learning. You can um, you can have different links for different things in the carousel. Like, I just missed that. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, weird. Uh, okay, so apparently that's a fact. So you can put a whole different bunch of things and then people can click each one, right? And then they'll they'll go to that. I, I think the way I set it up, I don't think I actually did that. I don't know what I did wrong. Let's take a look. Let's learn this carousel thing. Where am I? Here, I think. So let's go back up into campaigns and then go down to yoga store visits and into one of the carousels and we'll edit it. So I've chosen add with multiple images or videos recommended. Okay. But where was the place where I chose which link for which picture? Oh, okay. Oh, you know, oh, you know what? I probably did do it right because I didn't set this up. My assistant did. So, yeah, like, yeah, see, you can, you can click here. I, I can't edit it now because it's like running or something like that. But yeah, that, that's how you choose it. See, it's like, you, you know, all these different cards, they all have their own unique things. So yeah, I would say definitely she's uh, put it, put it right. I just didn't do that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can put all the different links for for the for the product in the carousel, right? Which is obvious. Like it should work like that. I just uh, I just didn't realize it because I don't know what I'm talking about with Facebook yet. Okay, so pretty cool, right? Um, now the AdSpy thing. Let's get back to that. Is it here? Yep. Um, where is it? Here it is. So I showed you. Yeah, let's take a look at another one. Carousel. What the? Right. Let's try another one. Oh, that's another freaking watch one. Oh, I've bought this. I've bought that one right there. That's a good conditioner. That makes your hair really, really smooth. <laughs> no kidding. 
It's probably one of the best conditioners I've ever bought in my life. Affiliate link in the description. JK. Okay, so... See how it's like a nice looking page? It's like very nice. Remember at the beginning how I said there's like these individual skills? It's like it's not it's not just about making an ad, you know, you gotta gotta, gotta get all the all the skills. Like this looks nice. Doesn't it look nice? This looks so good. Okay, so I wanna show you something specific about this ad spy stuff. Okay, I think it's over here. Um Image. What? <laughs> How's that about? Um, okay. I really want to show you. one particular ad that I was looking at before. Search. Yeah, yeah, this one, right? So I think there's something valuable to, le to learn here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this one here and this one here. I'm gonna look at this one first. So you can click show analytics. And what's interesting about this is like, they have all these likes, like it's an ad, but there's likes, like 43,000 likes. 3,000 comments. I mean, it's an ad. So, like, you know, it's this weird-looking ad that looks like a pulled it out of the back of a magazine from the 90s. 43,000 likes. So, it's kind of weird, because, like, you know, they started to get lots of likes, and then it slowed down a lot. And I'm like, well, how the hell did that happen? Anyway, they targeted people 25 to 35. This sort of thing obviously works really weird because it's like women who are in South African national tuberculosis settlements. Like, okay. But anyway, they targeted women. So that you can see whom they targeted. And I can show you where this lands. Outgoing URLs. Like, what, what do I need to do? Like, click show original, then click. Oh man, come on. Okay, let's get this one right. So let's uh, click this. What do I have to click? Okay, here, right? So this is like an example of a site. It's an example of a lander that's literally working. This is this is working. Or it worked at some point. So I don't know if like the rest of the story is just a front. I really don't know if it's just a front for to be able to sell this page. But anyway, click add to cart, checkout. It's just a basic checkout, right? Nothing special. I don't even know, like, how, how do you... I wonder how, how they built this site. Let's take a look if I can, like, right-click and view source, and maybe it says, um... Shopify or something like that. Yep, that's the Shopify site. Easy. That's a good trick you can use, by the way, if you ever want to know, like, oh, what theme are they using? What what technology are they using? Just like, you know, view source and take a look. So just some basic Shopify thing. And I took a look at um, shipping, right? So shipping policy. I was like, hmm, I wonder what shipping thing they're using here. Uh, 10 to 14 days, like it will be fulfilled in 20, 48 hours, 10 to 14 days from purchase and can take up to four weeks. So this is obviously like, you know, drop shipping maybe potentially probably from China, right? So that's what they're doing. They're drop shipping this from China. Maybe, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they ordered a lot of them and they're, they have a warehouse, like they ordered 5,000 you know, things, and brought it over to the United States, and they're shipping it out from the United States, but put it this way, it ain't instant, that, that's that's for sure, and apparently no big deal, no big deal, I mean, like, I, 
I don't know whether the deal is like people don't care that it takes a long time to get shipped to them. I think when, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've heard that like if you want to sell something that takes a while to get shipped, you better make sure it's like a unique thing. But anyway, like another point is like this is a cool kind of product, right? It's got some like cool fucking gadgety kind of thing. And now we can take, remember the post, right? It's just like the picture of it. And there's all these likes. Like, I, did, I haven't understood this yet. Like, how, how did they get all these likes? And why did the likes go up, but then stop going up? I, I don't understand that yet. But anyway, it's this, like, s serious, like, direct response. Like, get this now. You can get this. Offer, offer, offer. Audio's here. Boom. Link. All right. It's, like, really just, like, mm, what do you call this? Just, like, sloppy, sloppy marketing copy. Just like call to action style copy. Uh, it's not designed to be like, you know, very elegant copy or anything like that. And I'm, I'm not saying that they've made a mistake here. I'm just saying they did it. And maybe that's what works. Who knows? Maybe that's the style of copy that could potentially be good. So literally like this copy could be worth copying. Uh, modeling rather, not copying. Otherwise you'll be selling the wrong thing, won't you? So let's take a look at another thing, right? It's the uh, flower pot thing. Like, what's going on here? People sell, are selling this thing. There's 111,000. Let's take a look at the original. Hmm. I think someone's cooking something in my apartment. I hope so. Okay. Yes, yeah, so isn't this weird? 141,000 likes. And we can see how these people did this. Like, we can see their whole history. All right? Because we can scroll all the way back to... Oh, yeah, right. I think you're right. So these people basically started their page November 21, 2017. Okay. And their top post. Um, what? November 21. Wait, that that's it? November 21. Right, November 22, I don't know, like, I suppose they, I don't know, it says posted November 21, so maybe these people were like, yep, got a cool idea, and boom, <laughs> they just, like, posted that November 21, the exact same day as they created the page, apparently, after that, they kept making just, like, content, like, daily content, you know, like, these things, these are all just, like, weird content things, May 28, like, I don't even... This is like six likes, like, like what is even going on? But I think their thing is like these people are marketers. They found some cool dropshipping thing. They put up a page. They got a really cool looking post, right? It's like, it's quite cool, isn't it? Like, it's kind of cute. Like, it's like, <sighs> Look, remember, one of the skills you need to learn is you need to create the have the ability to create something that will get shared, because when you get shared, you get free traffic. Okay, it's like I, I think that's a huge part of like being successful here, like the ability to have your thing shared. Um, right, it's like basic copy, attention grabbing, like hearts, flame, heart, flame, gift, airplane. All right, the picture's like really like cool and it's like order here. Perfect Christmas gift. You know, a, a, a reason, right? Free shipping, 50 cent discount. It's like one, a reason why. For your love, for your love, uh, order here. And like, that's it. That's the whole thing. Like this whole campaign is just that. And they ran this for ages and got 140,000 likes on it, like 33,000 shares. Like, I don't even know if that's real. But, like, if you read the comments, I mean, you know, like, people are tagging their friends. They're like, oh, my God, like, Amanda, check this out. It's a flower pot. My God. Like, they just tag their friends. So, 
and they talk about like it's so cute like is this real like uh, <laughs> i mean i'd say it's real really i mean there's so many So there's something going on there, right? Like making making a post that is super freaking cool and shareable. And it, it's like, as, as long as this is legit, as long as this is not fake shares, fake comments, fake likes, which it really doesn't seem to be, then then wow, right? Like you create, create some lander here like this, you know? You know, you can tell this is people who know what, what the hell they're doing, right? This is a legit... Um, looking Lando, isn't it? This is some serious marketing here, right? This is very serious marketing. The, these people know what they're doing. Oof, man, these people know what they're doing. Oof, damn, I feel, I feel like envious, honestly. Like when I really see someone know what they're doing, it's like, oh, damn, like, this is, this is good. So this is really nice looking lander page, right? So you put together a really cool lander page. Okay. I'm like, what's in shop? Like, what else is there? I don't know. Like, who knows if any of this is, like, of any use. Like, this this could just be all their their stuff. Like, like a bunch of their campaigns. Oh, and see, they're, like, taking advantage of the fact that this looks like that Groot guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, which I thought was a pretty boring movie. Because, I don't know, I don't really like comic book movies. About, like, what is there about? See, we were tired of, oh, my friend, my friend who's, um, doing this with me, uh, following along, um, made a site that was based on gifts, so... I, hello, I recommend you, uh, take some, take a tip from this page here. Yeah, pretty basic, right? You can tell, that, like, the only reason is, like, oh, our mission, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, your mission is to sell, sell the Groot flower pot. <laughs> FAQs. How does shipping work, right? So, this is, right, it's drop shipping. Here you go. You know, this is like a... What should you take from this? This is a model, right? This is a model. Like, if you want to set up a dropshipping page, don't fuck around reinventing the wheel. Go to this page right here, and, uh, you know, just put, put together a lander like this. So, can I just go FAQs again? Did they say that it comes from China, or like, um, see, see, look, look at this, right? No problem. So, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, I don't think you need to, um, buy a whole bunch of stock, right? It seems like you can test this out reasonably easily. Because these people ha didn't like buy a bunch of stock, ship it to the United States, and then um, and then ship it for cheap from there. Every single one is coming from, you know, like whatever you call this area of the world, the the Orient. <laughs> I don't know. The East. It's coming from the East. It's coming from Asia. Whatever you want to say. Okay, so. There's a good model to use. Um, now, in terms of um, how to do this, I mean, I mean, I know a little bit about it, right? So all got to do with this. Um, I actually have a course that explains how to do this. Uh, it's not a very good course because the people who create courses on Udemy are, you know, IQ 86. Uh, so Udemy, right? So I still bought it though. Um, my Jesus Christ, how do I get into the purchase history, right? So uh, let me just tell you what course I got. Oh, that's how embarrassing. Um, where, where am I? Um, I spent 55 euros in 2015 trying to learn 
men's fashion. What? And I, obviously, I, I refunded it. <laughs> yeah, I certainly didn't learn. If you could see what I'm wearing at the moment, you would be like, yeah, this guy did not learn anything. Um, but I can't understand where my thing is. Like, where... L let me log out. God damn it. Maybe I've got a second account. I don't know what that is. What? Where's it gone? Come on. My courses? Here, right? This is the course I'm trying to show you. I found this thing. It's called Build a Dropshipping Empire. Uh, so if you want to, like, you know, we're definitely going to be covering this, by the way. Like, this will happen in the course. But if you just want to, like, you know, move ahead and just find out some stuff specifically about dropshipping, I mean, feel free to just check out this course. It's only $10. So, you know, just whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll take you there eventually, but feel free to check it out. I think that's all for now. Um, if, like, what I'd like to do really is, like, I think give you an exercise. And the exercise would be to run a 10 euro, uh, god damn it, a 10 euro thing like I just did. Like, just do what I, whatever I do. Like, just, just repeat the exact same thing that I do. Um, and if you wouldn't mind, like, when you do it, uh, post your comments below. Uh, and just like type what you learned uh, even if you put up your own video and the link to it in the comments so there's like a whole resource kind of thing here <clears throat> but like like tell me what you learn but uh, don't don't tell me trash right <laughs> just t tell me good stuff okay uh, that's enough for this time I'll see you next time